Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I am going to be talking you through some bullish and bearish technical factors on this Bitcoin chart to come to a conclusion by the end of the video of what is the next best trade. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this one and let's get started straight on the chart. So as we all know, we were originally looking for those longs around 10,200, that being our very important support and I will refer you back to the original plan that I wrote. And that was obviously, um, you know, a long position looking for around 10,650. Remember this, 10,650 was the first major take profit. And then if no rejection, obviously looking for around 10,800 region. That's all dependent on obviously 10,200 support holding, which, as we all know, it held very well. And that brought us up to 10,650. Why was this so important? Well, obviously, that was a major take profit for the long position at the time. So when you have a major resistance, when broken, we can see now how it's flipped into support. So I want to add on a line here for you. And we will put this at 10.650. Okay. And we will have called this in the time target or take profit one. Okay. And we'll put this in red. So as you'll know, the original plan that we were going over here was looking for longs above 10,200, looking for 10.650 rejection in the region of 10 10800 so what we can see here so i wanted to make this style red for you so what we can see here is how technical analysis is working very well indeed so as we know we we really got a nice short squeeze up above the level okay and it showed no signs of slowing down obviously hitting around 10 750 then on to 10950 this morning uh what i want to show you here <coughs> excuse me it's coming down onto a lower term time frame. So we'll come to the 15 minute chart. And as you can see, the original 10,650 take profit, you can see how this was such a crucial level, let's be honest. So it was recognizing way back on the 11th that this was going to be the major resistance. And in the end, it actually started off offering little resistance. As you can see, you hit it once, small rejection, you got through it. But then this is where the magic of this level happens. So obviously, when, you know, back on the 11th, when we were, when we were, where were we on the 11th? We were sat around, uh, literally down, down at the lows. So it's from that level, recognizing that this was going to be a, a, you know, a crucial level. As we can see, we got the rise to the top of the range, back down to the low of the range. In the end, getting up to 10,650. And this is where this level become resistance, but then flipped. And this is highlighting to you really the strength, okay? The strength to get through such a level and then flip it into support. So this is a classic test technical analysis idea where you have resistance and then once broken, it turns into support. And you can see that really perfectly here. When you take this region of the first resistance that was formed, okay, down to that low, obviously of the first low, then you can see that this resistance region has become support, 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 and support once again. Okay, so it's a really classical, it's a really classical resistance slash support flip. So we're seeing resistance come back into support. And what we're seeing on the flip side, okay, if we come back up to the four hour chart, let's come down to the one hour, actually, it's a little bit easier. So on the one hour chart, we can see we are still making higher highs and higher lows. So the bullish factors here that I'm listing is that we are above 10,650. We have flipped the major resistance, which for me was honestly a, a big level where I was taking major profits on my longs. Uh, because, you know, it was a big resistance. But now we have flipped that into support. That's obviously a bullish factor number one. The market structure with higher highs and higher lows is bullish factor number two. Um, then what we can see here is I will highlight to you why we are rejecting off of this region. And it's actually really nice. So as you can see, this order block that we had here, the highs of this block are now really coming back into resistance. That's obviously around 10,920. So can you see what's starting to happen here? We've got major resistance coming in off of the order block and we've got major support coming off of an old resistance now flip to support. And you can see the range that's going on here, can't you? Okay, you can envision this is the range. Obviously, we cannot say with 100% certainty whether this range is now going to be breaking to the upside or whether we will come down to the lows and break to the downside. But what are you better off doing? You are better off trading the range until it breaks. If you get a break to the downside, you can continue with the shorts. If you get breaks to the upside, you can look for the low long positions if you're not already in one, you know. Um, what's the worst thing to do in these examples? Well, it is, it is really trying to get into long positions at the highs 
and it is getting into short positions at the lows. That, that's really the worst thing that you can be doing. Uh, but that is what's happened time and time again. You are seeing a really, really aggressive shorts at the lows and really aggressive longs at the highs. So the market naturally likes to cause pain <laughs> and uh, people that try and short the lows stopped out. People that try and long the highs stopped out or at least add confusion. And I must admit, even for myself, this, this, although it looks really simple that I've just talked through here, this for me has been very, very choppy. I have actually not enjoyed trading this range because for me anyways, it has been very, very, very choppy. I'm currently sat in no position. So I am in no trade at the moment. Okay. I just want to make you aware of that. I'm in no trade because I always think you got to such an important factor of trading is patience. And this morning I woke up and I just said, you know, I'm going to remain patient on this. Okay. I have the, you know, I've, I've seen on the chart that we're holding crucial support. We're making higher highs and higher lows. Yes, obviously we have now swing fire pattern that high onto 10,940 was a level I was waiting for, but unfortunately I was asleep during it and I didn't want to wake up for my alert. So I missed a short entry. And then the, obviously the next factor that you have, I don't want to, I don't want to chase the trade and I don't want to be aggressive on the trade also because of the conflicting factors that we have for a bullish case. Okay. For instance, you're seeing the stock market, very healthy. You're seeing gold, very healthy. Mm. You know, it, it adds, you know, you're just looking for confluences. You, that's that's really what you're looking for. So my confluence here is um, <clears throat> that we've, we've got the market structure on our side. We've got uh, really aggressive, you know, we have, we have overall the funding rate is still very bullish. So there's just conflicting. You see, you see, I'm, I, I'm being able to list here very, very good bullish and bearish factors, I believe. So that for me is a conflict, you know, conflicting ideas. And what I don't want to do is gamble. I, I, I do refuse to enter a trade when I am 50-50. And there are times when I am, you know, pretty 50-50 on that. And what I prefer to do actually is, is sit, sit out, okay? I am under no, I'm not forced to trade Bitcoin as you should not be forced to trade Bitcoin. You never have to take a trade. And actually no trade is a trade in itself. So what I truly believe many people fail with in trading is over trading and i i was a victim of this yesterday to, to be honest with you but honestly uh over trading is is very very dangerous because for example uh, i and many others i'm sure made very very great profits on that move to the upside but then what you can fall victim of is over trading this choppy region and actually seeing very good profits them all, they all they all fall down the drain and you throw the profits away it's not a situation you ever want to be in as a, as a you know if this is your uh you know you have to treat trading as a business I, I would always say this trading is a is a business and if you are very poor with your money management risk management and you are not taking only the best trades uh it's like in a business you would only take the very best deals you wouldn't you know you, why would you go for a substandard deal trading is a business you have to treat it as such so I will only take the best trades. And what I mean by this is searching for high probabilities, okay, which we just don't really have at the moment because as, as I've said, for me, there's this really a 50-50 chart. And uh, yeah, you're going to see, you know, you're going to see very strong, you know, you're going to see people very bullish here. You're also going to see people very bearish here. But I truly believe for the next step of this market, you, you won myself anyway. I'll be waiting for the market to show its hand a little bit more. I must say I have somewhat of a more bullish feeling where I would, or I would prefer to see us push up here, actually. I I, I don't know. I, I would prefer to see us go to around $11,000 higher. Um, but, but obviously, I'm not trading off of that really at the moment. Obviously, I, mean, I am in spot, but nevertheless, um, <clears throat> I would prefer to see a push to the upside, to be honest with you. But uh, for me to actually trade off of that, underlying feeling i need to see i just need to see more well just a little bit more strength okay because all we have done at the moment again let's go to the 15 minute chart is swing failure that and we are heading you know heading but down so will we come back to an area of value and get a bounce obviously what you can start looking for is some like fibonacci levels okay you can start to see okay you have the cc coming in here uh 10 7 50 uh but you know even here locally what i love to use is uh exo charts okay where we can look in here now and da -da 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 -da, we can start to see, okay, so how many people are aggressively buying and selling at these highs? 
think this is very, very useful. Uh, so you can see there a point of control coming in of this around 10.8, 10.865. Okay, uh, your last one coming in at 10.8880, which you are, <laughs> which you're actually at right now. Um, you can then see some pretty aggressive buying at the high of the wick, but nothing major. I would say, honestly, that's nothing major for me. Uh, hundreds of thousands of contracts is, is, is not a lot. Okay, and we're also coming, obviously, into the daily point of control there. Uh, with some, pff, actually, longs and shorts. Longs a little bit more aggressive. Okay, and that, that's natural. Um, it was always the case, but um, nevertheless, you know what what I'm doing here is I'm I'm to be honest I'm more than happy to stay patient, and honestly uh, this is another thing that I will say that myself as a trader if if I miss the next move be it like I miss if I don't enter a long and it pumps or I I, I would be more annoyed if I didn't enter a short and it dumped though to be honest because I'd lose USD value <laughs> so but you know if let's just say I miss the next move be it a really big move up or a really big move down. I would definitely not be frustrated. I would not be revenge trading. I would stay calm and collected and just look for the next trade. Okay, um, that that's the main thing that you got to do. There's no point in beating yourself up. Be it, you know, I'm sure some people missed this long. You cannot be beating yourself up by just looking for that for the hell of it now. Uh, you know, gambling. You you have to remain calm and collected. Remain with the technicals and uh, trade the charts. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I hope I've brought you some clarity in today's video. Um, basically, we said that we'd come to a conclusion of what's the next best trade. And for me, my next best trade is actually no trade at the moment. It is waiting and it is staying patient. I refuse to trade a 50-50 trade because I actually might as well go to the casino where I'm more likely to win than it, where I am trading. You know, I have better odds on the roulette wheel than, than in trading if, I, if I'm if I'm literally trading off of a 50-50, you know, although one could argue they've joined. Anyway, moving on, um, you know, I prefer to trade odds of 60% plus. So I have an edge. I have, you know, odds in my favor. I refuse to actually trade when it's a 50-50, which I truly believe we have right now. So give me a bit more time. This could take an hour. It could take a day. I just need more inclusive evidence off of the chart. I need the market to present its hand to me. I need to follow the footprints and come to a much stronger conclusion than, than what I can come to at the moment. So I hope today's uh, video has offered you some value of how I come to these conclusions. Um, with these uh, templates, this is, and we'll end, this is now uh, coming to a promotion that if you are interested in learning about these templates, such as uh, how we are viewing, how many longs, how many shorts, my new day trading strategy template, which I will show you a little um preview of uh so this is this is a live stream that i will be hosting tomorrow okay so this is a live stream for all of the contenders and all of the champions it is a very professional live stream where i will be going through for about an hour uh, my day trading strategy okay and this is obviously starting with a chart of the week where i'm going to start with totally deleting a chart i will totally delete all my technical analysis and i will build up that chart from scratch going through everything that i go through to come again to a conclusion based off a technical analysis, a trade setup. We'll then be moving on to my day trading strategy tomorrow in the live stream and ending with questions and answers. So if people do not understand a certain aspect, they can ask the question and it will obviously be answered. Um, so yeah, you can look forward to this tomorrow. <laughs> obviously, if you're a contender or champion, I'll be doing this live stream tomorrow. As you can see, we have about 34 slides going on here. So I've put in a lot of work on this one and I am honestly really 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 looking forward to to teaching it to be honest because i i truly believe it's a, a great strategy so uh if you are interested in learning about this strategy you know because i i understand this is very confusing to newer traders uh, so if you want to learn how i'm trading and I, I to be honest i think you're better you a better use of your time right now is cementing knowledge increasing your knowledge or you know gaining a better understanding of the market than trying to trade what's happening now I think on the long term, you are much better taking a day, a day of trading and uh, actually, learn, you know, doing a bit of studying, learning. I myself won't be glued to the charts today. I'll be focusing on, on other things, to be honest. So, um, you know, what, what's the best thing to do here? Set alerts, wait for the alerts, then come check the chart, get some data and take the trade. So I hope that you've enjoyed this one. As always, everybody, I would thoroughly appreciate a like down below. If you have enjoyed this video, it would mean a great deal of support to myself. 
and you know it would bring a smile <laughs> so if you have enjoyed the video i would very appreciate a like as always if you haven't enjoyed it just give a dislike down below and if you are so kind you can give some constructive constructive criticism as to why you have not enjoyed um yeah hope you have a brilliant day happy trading and again if you're interested in the live stream you can come over to the chart champions website and uh you know contender and champion level will be getting that day trading strategy and the order templates that go along with it so cheers everybody thank you and goodbye cheers